and believe anything they post. What they didn't post are the tapes that you're about to see and that refute the claim that they did nothing aggressive. There wasn't an aggressive bone in my body all night. This happened out of nowhere. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I know I just said a million things, but I don't know what to say. That is Ricky Banks claiming a broken finger he got from punching a bouncer during an altercation that he had nothing to do with. Stop in Cleveland! And this is his girlfriend, Alyssa Violet, who claims she got a black eye and fat lip from a Barley House employee. Tapes tell the tale. This is Ricky in a restricted area. A bouncer asks him to go upstairs. His reaction is anything but calm. You see him the guy with the hat way up right. You can see him like you see him waving his hands taunting, there, taunting. Getting aggressive. He wanted to wait for Alyssa, who was in a woman's room. Things got ugly. As they're escorted to the main floor, bouncers are escorting Ricky on the steps. Alyssa, with a hat, is riding on the back of a bouncer. Eventually, you see Ricky walking out on his own, disproving his claim that he was nearly choked out by the bouncer. Even his hands there, taunting. Getting aggressive. He wanted to wait for Alyssa, who was in a woman's room. Things got ugly. As they're escorted to the main floor, bouncers are escorting Ricky on the steps. Alyssa, with a hat, is riding on the back of a bouncer. Eventually, you see Ricky walking out on his own disproving his claim that he was nearly choked out by the bouncer. Outside, it got uglier, but in large measure, by the couple pointing cell phone cameras at other customers. Alyssa has the bright light. He comes up here to grab his girlfriend. Alyssa jumps right in his face. He swipes the camera out of her phone, and that guy's girlfriend punches her. Now, Ricky comes out of nowhere and starts pounding this guy in the face from behind. Totally cheap shotting him. You're going to try and destroy somebody's business thinking you can do that before they even have a chance to come out and talk to you and discuss the situation, which was the problem. The top, I referred to this as almost kind of a guerrilla warfare that's being waged by the couple's followers. Employees and even customers have been threatened. The company's website had to be shut down because of so many posts. Fake food reviews are being...